hey ladies welcome back to my channel so today is wednesday march the 4th i wanted to come and basically talk to you guys before i get into what i'm eating today on keto and go over what i ate for the past two days on monday and tuesday i was able to film what i was eating but i didn't really show myself on camera monday started out a little different than normally for me you guys know that i like to stick to basically the same food on keto or just about the same food i just feel like if it's not broke don't try to fix it so i don't too much stray from what we love on keto but monday was a little different hakeem picked me up a breadless sub from jimmy john so they call it an unwitch and that was really good I didn't miss the bread at all it was super filling it tastes so good like that's definitely something i would recommend if you're tired of the normal food that you've been eating on keto and you want to kind of eat out or if you're out on the go and you don't know what to eat jimmy john's has a keto friendly option for you basically get to have your um sub any way you you like without the bread it's basically wrapped in lettuce and again it was just so good I didn't miss the bread at all so that pretty much held me over until about six or seven in the evening by that time um, I realized I hadn't taken out anything to cook um, so I took out some ground beef for a taco salad um, I then realized I didn't have any lettuce if y'all are on keto you all know you run out of food super fast where I do I like to buy a lot of fresh food on keto so I don't buy a lot of it at once. I like to make sure I'm able to use the food before it goes bad. So I find myself going to the grocery store about every three to four days. So I'm in Publix basically about twice a week. I had to run to the store to get the lettuce for the taco salad as well as some more food for the next few days. Um, I also picked up a few household items so I'll show you guys what I got in that haul. It wasn't much at all. Again, I think I picked up like some chicken, some... Um, Caesar salads of course I picked up some lettuce for the taco salad and like I said a few household items um, by the time I got back home the meat for the taco salad had thawed out so I was able to go ahead and cook that up one thing I wanted to mention with cooking my taco salads you guys I do not use the taco packet like the seasoning packet I found out that they contain a lot of processed chemicals and things that I don't really want to eat so I do season my taco meat by myself like on my own I'll add in some salt some pepper some um, oregano leaves some ground cumin some chili powder some chili garlic paste like I make it spicy but it was super good so I scrambled the meat up added some cheese on top let that melt had that on top of some lettuce um, and of course I like to add toppings to mine so I had some avocado some tomatoes and sour cream and that was pretty good for Monday evening so Tuesday was busy for me um, I was pretty much out of the house all day so I ate on the go for lunch Tuesday I had some chicken from Miami subs just plain chicken no breading um, just plain chicken wings um, and then when I got home that evening it was too late to pretty much cook so I had leftover taco salad for Monday so that was pretty much Tuesday um, throughout the day on Tuesday I did snack on the almond or on the cashews that I picked up on Monday and that was pretty much it so today is Wednesday I brought my pass about two hours ago I was super busy filming today so I lost track of time I'm not necessarily again I'm not trying to fast but once you do intermittent fasting for so long your body really becomes accustomed to not eating so i never really eat breakfast even if i'm not fasting but today i pushed it a little, a little longer so i broke my fast today with a keto smoothie i'll show you guys how well, i made today that. finally what i'm up to now is i'm about to make a keto smoothie so i have all my ingredients here if you can see and i'm filming on my phone y'all so bear with me my camera's charging but what I have in here already is some almond milk as well as a teaspoon of monk fruit sweetener. Tastes just like sugar, but it has zero carbs. So, well actually it has four carbs, but it also has four grams of sugar alcohol. So zero net carbs on this. If you are going to use a sugar replacement on keto, I would definitely recommend to try out a monk fruit sweetener. So along with that, I am going to add in some MCT oil. This is by Spring Valley is just an organic MCT oil. I use a tablespoon of this. This MCT oil, it keeps me regular, like super regular. If you guys are on keto and you notice like you tend to get constipated or anything like that, I would recommend adding in an MCT oil to your diet. You don't have to add it to just a smoothie. You can add it over your salads. You can add it to your meat when you're cooking, but it's going to definitely regulate your bowels, get you to go in, 
trust me. So I try to make sure that I um, get some MCT oil in at least once or twice throughout the week. So I like to do a tablespoon of that. I took this, I'm going to add my spinach. You can add however much of spinach as you like. The more spinach, the better. I'm just gonna add in a bunch of that. I would normally add an avocado to this, but I don't have an avocado. So strawberries. I don't add too many strawberries because that increases the carbs. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do three strawberries. So these are the mixed berries that I use. I picked these up from Walmart. It's by the brand Wyman's. So this is what we're looking like. We have our mixed berries, strawberries, spinach, almond milk, MCT oil, monk fruit sweetener in here. So I'm gonna blend this all up and that's going to be our first meal. I finally stopped running now. With you I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way The joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before The only thing with the keto smoothie today was I didn't have an avocado And I normally add that in as extra, like a, a healthy fat But I didn't have it today so it kind of tastes a little bit different but it was still good nonetheless. Then I have some chicken sitting out right now in the sink thawing out. So I'll probably make some chicken drumettes, um, throw those in the oven tonight, put it with a Caesar salad, you guys already know. If I eat anything else, of course, I'll show you guys. I'll even pick up the camera when I'm cooking dinner to show y'all how that goes. One thing I do wanna mention before I go, I do plan to put out my what I eat in a day on keto videos every Thursday at 5 p.m. So set your calendar, set your schedules for Thursday at 5 p.m. I just feel as though that will help me to stick to keto, hold myself accountable. I still plan to do makeup videos. I'll probably put those out on Tuesdays. Um, and then again, my keto videos will go up on Thursdays at five. So we're headed to get some dinner. Probably going to get some wings. So yeah, I'll take y'all with us. For that. Oh, it's right there. Hmm. So yeah, I did take out the chicken to cook, but it didn't thaw out and Hakeem's ready to eat. You ready to eat? Yeah. So we're gonna go get some. You didn't eat anything on it? So yeah, we're about to go get some wings from this place called Strictly Wings here in Palm Beach. They kind of remind me of Flanagan's wings, but yeah, they're good. I don't feel like I'm doing keto when I eat these wings. So that's where we're headed to now. So yeah, we're on our way to get some dinner. Even though I don't feel like doing keto tonight. I don't feel like doing it, but we have to. I finally stopped running now With you I found my peace somehow Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. I'm in love with you in every way The joy you give me every day Makes me forget that I was troubled before Don't know 